Alrighty, let's do this. This is the hardest arena defense by some people's opinion. Um, so I'm going to show you how to beat it without using Black Bolt, which is <clears throat> fairly difficult to do. But uh, I think I think I got this down. So let's give it a shot. This is my team. So just to show you, I have Ultron uh, at Tier 14. I have Invisible Woman at Tier 14 and Phoenix at Tier 14. But I'm still a little bit lower power than this guy. Um, my Magneto is six, five red stars at 77k. And then Falcon is four red stars at 68k. They're both 75, but they don't have any Tier 14 gear items on them yet, except for like if there's a, like a blue or something. Um, I did those. So let's give this a shot. Let me show you some of my turn order tactics for this. <clears throat> hmm. Alrighty. So we're in it. Um, what we'll do here is move it to 3x here. All right. So one of the most annoying things is Yo-Yo dropping her offense down on everybody it's uh, pretty annoying you can see she doesn't do a whole lot of damage um, but you know whatever no big deal um, so I'm actually gonna do a save um, Phoenix's special to clear buffs later so we'll just do our basic right now and we're gonna do the special with Falcon for turn meter because even though even if I can't get anybody to um, lose their stealth with Falcon special because the offense down does make it very difficult um, it's okay I can just if I didn't get anybody out of stealth I would actually just basic here with Magneto instead of using a special but since I got somebody I'm gonna go ahead and use a special and this does a slow and a disrupt on yo-yo and she's a five red yo-yo so she should be pretty solid on resistance uh, but this still lands next I'm gonna call in the minions and I'm probably gonna get uh, disrupted right but the way the turn order works is invisible woman goes right after Ultron so um, we're gonna use her special first to clear debuffs from our allies and what that'll do is it'll make her tank here for this next attack uh, it also gives D up to everybody for two turns which is really important to keep everyone alive and keep everybody out of that red zone where black bolt will double tap them down and now we can do our buffs and so another thing that I've been doing, um, just to be extra careful here, um, I've noticed that one of the best things you can do is take out the accelerator and get that energy back so that you can keep uh, churning out people. Now the reason I take out the accelerator is, is if I have speed up from my accelerator and they don't, then that means five of my characters are going to be going a lot faster than theirs, even though I don't have an ideal team. So either I can target Black Bolt or Yo-Yo here. Black Bolt is five red. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call in the buffs, and then I'm going to um, go ahead and hit Black Bolt as hard as I can. I want to get rid of him. I got an offense up on Phoenix. Next thing I want to do is my Magneto ult, and this will actually blind them. So with five reds on my Magneto, he doesn't get resisted often. But the great thing is, is this means that both Crystal and Black Bolt will miss their ults. I did, I got lucky here. I did not get the offense down from Yo-Yo. It was resisted uh, because of her blind, or I'm sorry, it missed because of her blind. And so that makes this whole turn is my winning turn, essentially, because I need to make sure that I do as much damage as I can while Yo-Yo is unable to land the offense downs. Uh, unfortunately here looks like I wasn't able to land it so I'm gonna keep going for Black Bolt here and uh, I got offense down on Phoenix so I can kind of ignore her for right now and as long as I get Black Bolt down I should be okay to win the rest of this um, that's really my key is getting rid of him and uh, then we can focus um, Phoenix and uh, Ultron and uh, as you can see here I still have my invisible woman um, shields up because they just don't do a whole lot of damage and so I'm just going to go for Ultron right now and then uh, get Phoenix on her next turn. So that'll strip all my buffs, but that's not a big deal because we got rid of Black Bolt. So the key here is getting Black Bolt down as soon as possible is so important because otherwise that Phoenix ult is going to hurt a lot of people. And then he's going to tap them right back down. And to me, that's like the worst thing that can happen is getting everybody low, especially tech characters, because they get extra damage and they get really murdered. Uh, <laughs> um there we go. Now we got my Phoenix, and uh, that makes this a whole lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and steal health from them, which they can't avoid. Um, there's the Crystal Alt again. That's fine. Um, it does um, stun all the summons, like Dark Phoenix and the Ultron minions, but that's okay. No big deal there. Um, 
we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do that on Ultron. And really, from here on, I'm just, I'm just taking everybody out slowly. I've, I've got the upper hand. Uh, I can go ahead and strip all those buffs and put defense up out. And you can see here now I got my Phoenix Alt. And it's pretty easy to clean this up. This is not difficult. But for me, just getting that Black Bolt down is the primary goal of this attack. And if I can get him out, even with a Phoenix ult landing on me, unless it's like a 7 red Phoenix or something, it's probably not going to murder me. <laughs> and I'll be okay. And if Black Bolt's not there to follow up with the extra hits, then I should be safe to, ta uh, to keep it going and finish out the fight. So that's my attack without Black Bolt, without Yo-Yo. I know they are the most popular couple right now in Arena. Uh, as you can see here, he's running Black Bolt Yo-Yo. Hell, if I had my Black Bolt and Yo-Yo up uh, to a decent amount, I would be running them too. I think they are excellent for Arena defense. Um, the two of them together are hilarious because there's just so many like combos and stuff that they do. Um, so Yo-Yo putting the offense down keeps your team uh, alive longer and lets them keep hitting people hard and then uh black bolt with his just raw damage is just so powerful but as you can see there uh, i was able to ignore the black bolt and the crystal ults with the magneto blind on turn two now i will say that the turn order does get screwed up if you have a second brotherhood with magneto or more because he will go early on so you really have to time that alt correctly so it's after black bolt special and before his alt uh, if he can't get that then um, he's gonna alt he's gonna do massive amounts of damage he's gonna wipe all your ultron minions and probably kill somebody else with his uh, alt plus the extra hits for anybody that goes into the red so um, that's how i fight that team uh, it's supposed to be you know the best arena team supposedly or at least that's what I read <laughs> online um, I you know I didn't need Black Bolt for it I didn't need Yo-Yo um, those are the the new hot characters and I was able to get it down so I just kind of wanted to share that strat with you I think it also works really well for just Black Bolt teams that don't have Yo-Yo or Crystal um, that's that's the team that I'm currently using as my attack everything um, the only change i make is sometimes i'll swap magneto for drax if there's like a seven red star captain marvel which somebody in my shard does have and i occasionally have to fight them uh, but to me that's that's only because that alt is just so powerful it will wipe somebody right off the board if i don't have that taunt right on uh, right on spawn um, the other cool thing is when fighting captain marvel like that or like a logi captain marvel combo um Throwing in Drax means that they hit either Phoenix or Drax. And so if they kill your Phoenix on turn one with the Captain Marvel ult, well, then you got Dark Phoenix the whole time. And even if you don't, you know, use her ult and special right away, uh, her basic hits so hard and clears buffs and is so useful for getting rid of the, uh, the stealths that could be out there from either a Phoenix or an Invisible Woman. And uh, just getting rid of buffs in general is super, super important. But that's that's my favorite arena attack mode. Um, I have had really good success with it. I rarely lose with it. And uh, I think it's really, really, really powerful. Um, I'm not sure how it would be with, you know, maybe weaker red stars on some of the characters. But I don't feel like I have insane red stars. I mean, five on Magneto is a little high, but I think you'd be fine with four. So definitely uh, let me know if you have any issues with that. I'd be curious to see if it doesn't work as well. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's my arena. That's my best attack team on arena. And that's what I'm using right now, even without Black Bolt, while we all wait for him to come back in April and uh, start farming those Asgardians as soon as they come out. Hopefully sooner rather than later. We'll see. <laughs>